Am I only on number four? Oh man, I'm hopeless. Public and private synonyms, what are they and how do they work? It's pretty simple. When I connect as a username called Connor, it's my current schema. That makes sense. I connect as Connor, therefore my schema is Connor. So when I do select star from M, what I'm implicitly doing is I'm trying to first try stuff in my schema, Connor.M. That's the thing I'm looking for first. You don't have to be your schema and your user do not have to be actually in alignment. I can actually run alter session set current schema equals John, for example. Now, what that does is it doesn't change who I'm connected as. I actually am still the user called Connor, but now it's simply changing where I look first. So now when I do select star from Emp, I'm doing select star from John.emp. That's the first place I'm looking. Now, none of that has anything to do with synonyms so far, but once we've decided which schema we're looking in, then we try to resolve that name, as in what is that thing? So when I do select star from emp, I need to actually work out what emp is. I need to resolve it as an object. Now keep using the word object here because it might not necessarily be a table. It could be a private synonym. So let's have a look at what that means. A private synonym is an synonym that exists in your schema only, your user only, which is used as a means of redirection to maybe some other name. So it could be something like this. When I do select star from emp, there could be a private synonym called emp, which actually simply points to a different name in the same schema, my real table called emp. It could be a private synonym that just points to another object in your schema. It doesn't have to be a table. It could be a synonym that points to a view in your schema. And it doesn't have to be in your schema. It could simply be a synonym that points to a view in another schema or a table in another schema or anything like that. So in this case, emp actually points to a view in the Scott schema. It could even be a synonym which simply points to another synonym. And that synonym could be in your schema, could be in someone else's schema. The list of synonyms can simply cascade onwards continually. The key thing is this object is a synonym called emp and it's owned in your schema and therefore it is a private synonym. What if it's none of these things? What if you can do select star from emp but, and there's nothing in your own schema called emp? No synonyms, no views, no tables. What we do there is we effectively roll up to a single special user. There's actually a user called public and it holds things called public synonyms, which simply says, if I can't resolve an object name in my local schema, maybe there's a synonym that sits across the entire database that then points to such thing. Here's an example where I use a special DDL called create public synonym, which really behind the covers would be doing create synonym public.emp for, for example, something in the Pete schema called his table called employees. Key point here, the question that came in on the Ask Tom Office Hours was, and how does this affect privileges? This has nothing to do with privileges. A synonym simply tells you where to finally look. You still need to have access to that final object. So if I have no grants on some object in some other schema, yes, I can have a synonym that points to it, but it doesn't give me any privileges to actually refer to it still. Synonyms, of, synonyms can point to non-existent objects. They can point to objects that you have no rights on and obviously point to objects that you have other rights on. Mm -hmm.